There's a secret to do training seriously. Uh, I don't like to miss my training program, you know. If I have something happen, I have to train that program by any means. If it is dark, I have to do that training program. That is my secret. <laughs> From 1992 to 2009, a small but incredibly fast runner from Ethiopia took the distance running world by storm. Over these 17 years, the great Haile Geber Selassie from Ethiopia set a total of 27 separate world records stretching over 13 different distances. What made Geber Selassie so incredible and so revolutionary was his lethal combination of world-class endurance and lightning quick speed. From the 800 meters all the way up to the marathon, Geber Selassie was an incredibly versatile runner and everyone that raced him knew that they were in for a very challenging race. With a total world championship and Olympic medal count of 13, Haile is easily one of the most decorated athletes in distance running history. Given his championship racing history, it's easy to see why many consider Geber Selassie to be one of the all-time greats in distance running. But how exactly did he break 27 separate world records throughout his career? Any athlete would be extremely lucky to break one or possibly two world records in their careers, but 27 is a number that's almost impossible to believe. In this video, we'll be looking at Geber Selassie's world record performances and what he did in order to be one of the greatest running champions in history. To better understand Geber Selassie's running success, it's very important to look at his early running development. Like many of his fellow East Africans, Haile spent his entire childhood running to and from school. Just to get to school, he ran 10 kilometers, and when he returned from school, he ran the exact same distance again. This means that he was running a full 20 kilometers, or about 12 and a half miles, each day. According to Geber Selassie, he ran with his school books in his left hand, which eventually led to his distinct running posture as if he is still holding his books in his hand. In addition to running huge distances from a very early age, Haile grew up in the small town of Asela, Ethiopia, which sits at 2,430 meters in elevation. This high altitude exposure is very beneficial to building a huge aerobic base, and given his daily running commute, Geber Selassie certainly established a large aerobic capacity from a very early age. With such incredible amounts of early running, Haile began to show great promise with distance running from a very early age. In 1992, at just 19 years old, he placed first in both the 5,000 and the 10,000 meters at the World Junior Championships, running times of 13 minutes and 36 seconds for the 5,000 meters and 28 minutes and 3 seconds for the 10,000. The following year in 1993, Geber Selassie, who was still just 20 years old, placed first in the World 10,000 meter championships and second in the 5,000 meter championships. These two races showcased Haile's world-class talents. However, the following year in 1994, he would start a world record streak that would stretch for over 15 years. First, let's take a look at the 5,000 meters, which is the distance where Geber Selassie broke his very first world record. On June 4, 1994, Haile ran a time of 12 minutes 56.96 seconds for the 5,000 meters, breaking the previous record held by Saeed Owida dating back to 1987. Since Awida's performance, no other athlete had broken the 13-minute barrier. However, Geber Selassie's performance shattered all expectations. With three laps remaining, Geber Selassie was running right on world record pace, but as the finish line got closer and closer, his pace only increased. With half a lap left to run, Haile opened up his stride and ran an amazing final 200 meters. Finishing with a time of 12 minutes and 56.96 seconds, Geber Selassie broke the previous world record by almost two seconds. With extreme excitement, Haile proudly held the Ethiopian flag as he was now the official 5,000 meter world record holder. Although this performance was certainly a special moment for Geber Selassie, nobody could possibly imagine the sheer dominance that would ensue over the next 10 years. 
On August 16, 1995, again he broke the world record in the 5,000 meters, running a time of 12 minutes and 44 seconds, which broke the previous mark held by Moses Kiptanui by a full 11 seconds. For many people, this was Gabor Selassie's greatest performance because it took the possibilities of the 5,000 meters to completely new levels. Before this performance, even breaking the 13-minute barrier was the absolute gold standard for 5,000 meter excellence. But now, Gabor Selassie had run a full 16 seconds under the 13-minute mark. In absolutely dominant style, which can clearly be seen from this overhead shot, Gabor Selassie stormed home over the final four laps. After his four kilometer split, the announcers of the race were shocked. A look at the time there. My God, he's almost uh, 12 seconds under the wild pace at the moment. This is an incredible solo run by Haile Gebri Selassie. For the final few laps, Haile was so far ahead of the previous record that no other athletes were even visible on the screen. With a fast final lap of 59 seconds, Haile crossed the finish line, leaving everyone in the stadium, including the announcers, in complete awe. 12.55, he's decimated it by around 11 seconds. If we hadn't just seen it with our own eyes, we would not have believed it. This race is largely considered one of the greatest track and field performances ever, but just two years later, on August 13, 1997, Gebre Selassie would strike again. Competing against Daniel Komen of Kenya, Gebre Selassie found himself in a challenging battle for 5,000 meter supremacy. Just one year earlier, at the exact same race, Komen had outlasted Gebre Selassie, defeating him with a time of 12 minutes 45.10 seconds, which was less than one second away from Haile's previous world record. With this recent memory surely on his mind, Haile was very determined to beat his Kenyan rival. After a strong opening pace, Komen and Geber Selassie once again found themselves firmly in the lead. With just one lap remaining, this race was almost a carbon copy of the previous year, with Komen up front pushing the pace and Geber Selassie close behind in hot pursuit. However, this year would see a much different result from the previous year. With just over half a lap to run, Geber Selassie unleashed a devastating kick that completely dropped Daniel Komen almost instantly. Powering down the home stretch, Haile finished the 5,000 meter race with a 56 second final lap and a new world record time of 12 minutes 41.86 seconds, which was a new world record by almost 3 seconds. Looking back at this race, it's quite obvious that Geber Selassie very likely could have run much faster. With such an incredible surge down the back stretch, he clearly had much more gas left in his engine but it was evident that he simply wanted to defeat his Kenyan rival more than he actually wanted to break his previous world record. With faster pacing, it's very possible that Haile would have run well under 12 minutes and 40 seconds. However, his 12.41 was still a phenomenal performance. Following this race, Daniel Komen actually broke Geber Selassie's world record only nine days later, lowering the world record mark to 12 minutes 39.74 seconds. However, on June 13, 1998, Gebre Selassie would at long last reclaim his 5,000 meter throne. In one of the gutsiest races in 5,000 meter history, Gebre Selassie never lost hope that he could once again reclaim his record. With 800 meters remaining, Gebre Selassie needed a final 800 meters of 1 minute and 57 seconds. And in a shocking performance, he ran a time of 1 minute and 56 seconds for his final two laps, which led to a new world record time of 12 minutes 39.36 seconds. This performance once again blew the minds of both the audience and his fellow competitors, and although this would be Geber Selassie's final 5,000 meter world record, he had many world records to claim throughout his career. Only 12 days before breaking Daniel Komen's 5,000 meter record, Gebre Selassie broke the 10,000 meter world record with an excellent time of 26 minutes 22.75 seconds. This time bettered the previous mark of 26 minutes and 27 seconds held by Kenyan rival Paul Turgot. Like many of his previous world records, his impressive closing speed proved to be one of his most valuable assets in this race. With two laps remaining, Haile split a time of 24 minutes and 23 seconds, and over his final 800 meters, he ran a time of 1 minute and 59 seconds, which led to this incredible time of 26 minutes and 22 seconds. 
This performance was actually the third time that Gibber Selassie had broken the 10,000 meter record, with previous world record performances of 26 minutes and 43 seconds in 1995, followed by a 26.31 in 1997. Gebre Selassie's track career was absolutely legendary. In addition to his 5,000 and 10,000 meter records on the track, he also set world records in the 2,000 meters, the 3,000 meters, and the two mile run. All of these times are very impressive, but in 2002, Hiley would shift his focus to road racing, where he would once again set the standard for distance running greatness. On January 15, 2006, Gabriel Selassie became the first athlete to run under 59 minutes for the half marathon. Finishing with a time of 58 minutes and 59 seconds, Gebre Selassie averaged 2 minutes and 47.5 seconds per kilometer, or 4 minutes and 29.65 seconds per mile. This race was certainly impressive, however just one year later, Hailey would break the marathon world record at the 2007 Berlin Marathon. Running a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 26 seconds, Hailey broke the previous record again held by Paul Turgot by almost 30 seconds. Now, with a 2 hour and 4 minute barrier within his reach, Gebre Selassie returned to the Berlin Marathon the very next year, where he ran a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 59 seconds, smashing his own world record and becoming the first human to ever run under 2 hours and 4 minutes for the marathon. This time once again placed Haile in completely uncharted territory, but the following year in 2009, Gebre Selassie would set his final world record. At the 30 kilometer mark, again at the Berlin Marathon, Haile split a time of 1 hour, 27 minutes, and 49 seconds, which averages out to 2 minutes and 55 seconds per kilometer. This split time was actually a world record for 30 kilometers. However, soon after the 30k mark, Gebre Selassie ran into multiple running issues, ultimately leaving him short of the previous marathon world record. Gebre Selassie still won this race, but after he finished, it was obvious that he was in a lot of pain. Gebre Selassie's 27 separate world records are a product of elite endurance, exceptional racing tactics, and sensational sprinting abilities, but none of this would be possible without a solid work ethic. Detailed here is a typical training week for Gebre Selassie during his early weeks of preparation. He runs right around 190 kilometers each week, or 120 miles. In multiple interviews, Gebre Selassie discussed how he would drastically change his training in order to meet his demands for different races. If he was training for a marathon, he would work on much longer runs that would occasionally reach 40 kilometers in distance. If he was training for the 3,000 meters, or perhaps the 5,000, there was a much larger emphasis on track speed in order to close quickly over the closing moments of races. In addition to his incredible training, Gebre Selassie stated that having a positive attitude is quite possibly the most important aspect of training. Throughout his career, he seemed to always be smiling, even during the most painful stages of races. There was honestly never a single dull moment in Gebre Selassie's career, and with world record marks ranging from the 2,000 meters up to the marathon, he is without question one of the most dominant and certainly one of the most versatile runners of all time. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you all in the next video.